This is the front page of a school newspaper being written using a computer program. Text is being checked before another story is added to the page. Build a back. Put build a back box there. Build yeah. more back boxes. Thomas puts in the headline. More, more. Back boxes. Mistakes can be easily and quickly changed and headlines altered. Boxes. No. Oh, no. Put an exclamation mark. Right, do the writing now. No. This is how you can produce a newspaper. Lots. Now let's see how it's actually done. It is the morning news briefing at Today Newspaper in London. The meeting is to plan the next day's edition of the newspaper. At the meeting are the editor, the news editor and other senior staff. The news editor is going through the key stories. Also, uh, the other debates this morning are on uh, welfare state, high pension, social security, and we'll have a story on the general council elections, who's coming, who's going, who's staying. Um, Hammond will have his piece in by lunchtime. Tom's mm -hmm. sorted that out. Mm -hmm. The Americans are coming back when the panic's over. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking to some uh, American tourists about that. I mean, this is tourism to Britain, isn't it? Yes, it's the only one. I mean, it's who, you could even get who come, who are them. Is it Americans, followed by French, followed by Germans, followed yes. by or whatever? The reporters are given their stories to cover. Paul Markilly is off to cover the story about the American tourists returning to Britain. At the Waldorf Hotel, the British Tourist Authority is holding a press conference. Afterwards, Paul interviews a press officer from the British Tourist Authority. What was the effect of the royal wedding on interesting in, in, Well, in publicity terms, it, it, it's fantastic. But we don't actually see an increase in people coming over for the wedding. But it generates more interest, does it? Oh, yeah. Well, it generates also an interest in purchasing British goods and, and, and so on, which is another part of tourism spending. The main appeals for British, for Britain, for overseas visitors is, in fact, pageantry and heritage and our stately homes and things like that. And the royal wedding highlights exactly those, those ceremonials. Today newspaper has its own library with a computer system for past news articles. At Paul's request, the librarian uses the computer to find articles about American tourists. Yeah, anything to do with American tourists. So try Libya. Just try Libya. Tourists. Paul types his story at a computer terminal. It works like a word processor. Paul can make corrections and change the text until he's quite happy with it. More information comes by phone while he's working. Um, I should come through the PA stuff at first. I'll try and catch up with it. OK. Once Paul's story is entered into the computer, it can be looked at on any of the terminals. In the newsroom, lots of things are happening at once. Stories are being entered at the terminals. Some stories and pictures are provided by news agencies. Pictures are sent by telephone line and are scanned into the newspaper's computer. The computer is used to select the best part of the picture to print.
A major news story has just broken. Five bodies found after fire. This story might turn out to be on the front page. Here's the first version of the story being typed. Meanwhile, a today photographer is bringing back photographs from the scene of a story. The pictures are developed in today's computer-controlled darkroom. They're mounted into slides for viewing and selection. Today was one of the first British newspapers to print most of its photographs in colour. Developing the photographs takes some time. When ready, the ones that are going to be used are scanned into the computer system. Back in the newsroom, Ken Parker, a layout artist, draws the layout of the whole page. This page includes Paul's story about the American tourists. The layout fixes the area on the page for each story. This is a special page makeup terminal. Here, the page layout is entered into the computer. The space for each story and photograph has its own code. The computer works out the number of lines of text which can be fitted into each space. The page is printed so that it can be checked. Richard Burton, a sub-editor, fits Paul's story into the space allowed for it. The screen of the computer terminal is split into two parts. On the left is the space for the story, on the right is the text. How the lines of text fit into the available space is shown on the left-hand side. The computer tells Richard whether the article is too long or too short for the space. It's ten past six and the editor is getting anxious as deadlines draw near. It's important to get the headlines right. The computer lets Richard try out different headlines to see which is the best one. The time has come to make up the pages. This is done on a full colour terminal. The headlines, artwork, advertisements and photographs are put in place. Paul's story is going on page 8. The photographs are put in place first, then the text and headings are added. There's a photograph appearing near the top. And there's another on the left.
This is the computer room. The two computer systems store all the text and pictures and run all the terminals. No one works here. It's now 8.03. Time is getting short. The front page has had to be changed because of late news about the five murders story. Four masters of each page are printed on film, one for black type and the other three to make up the colours. One of the masters for page eight is going into the scanner. This sends a copy of the page by telephone line to each of the three printing presses at the same time. One press is at Heathrow, one in Birmingham and one is in Manchester. Here in Manchester, the pages are received as a negative. The four negatives for a page are placed on top of each other to make sure that they line up exactly. These negatives are used to make the printing plates for the presses. There's one plate for each colour. This plate shows Paul's story in its final form. This machine bends the edges of the plates so that they will fit onto the printing press. At last, the presses are rolling. The printers check the papers to see whether the colours are correct. They aren't. These papers won't be used. Adjustments are now made to the colour levels with the aid of the computer. The colours on the pages are now right. The three printing presses produce thousands of copies of the newspaper every hour. They're automatically packed into bundles ready for distribution. The big news about the five people murdered did make the front page. Paul's story with his name on it is in print. By morning, it'll be in homes and newsagents throughout the United Kingdom. Some will be overseas.